More and more women in the U.S. are falling behind on cervical cancer screenings, and the pandemic has made the trend even worse. According to the CDC, they saw an 84% decline in early detection screenings during April of 2020 compared to year, years previous. Allie Peters spoke to local doctors about why these screenings are so important. Cervical cancer used to be the leading cause of cancer death for women in the U.S., but in the past few decades, deaths have gone down. The main reason for that is because of the pap test, uh, and the pap test is that uh, routine um, cervical cancer screening test that's done for women between the ages of 21 to 65. But during the pandemic, there's been a decrease in the number of women getting these tests. Hannah Farley says it's a trend they've seen at the Cancer Services Program of the Finger Lakes region. And a lot of that is still fear of being exposed to COVID. Um, some is it's, it's very difficult. People are finding it very difficult to get into the doctor's office and make that appointment in a timely manner. But even if there's a wait, doctors say these screenings shouldn't be skipped because they play a huge role in preventing cervical cancer. Usually, pap, uh, cervical cancer is asymptomatic until it is advanced. Um, that is why pap smear screening is so important to can't catch it in the precancerous um, and early cancer stages. Along with the pap test, doctors also recommend getting an HPV vaccine before the age of 26. It's estimated that over 50% of the population in the United States will be exposed to HPV, but very few are going to get cancer. Um, but HPV does cause over 90% of cervical cancers. And on top of that, practicing safe sex and healthy lifestyle behaviors can also go a long way. So good nutrition, good physical activity, uh, good sleep, and working on managing stress as much as we can in our, our current pandemic. Reporting in Rochester for News 8, I'm Allie Peters.